I think the value of the workshop, it was interesting because the way it's been run is there's not initially these didactic lectures, which we're used to going through, but you're getting much more of a hands-on technique. And so automatically when you've got surgeons who have got experience about spine surgery, it's great to get the theory, which we're all going to get, and you get it more from a practical sense, but diving straight in and getting a hands-on approach and then actually going through it with an expert in the system is a really nice way to start. Follows that drive for minimising the injury we do to patients in order to deal with the pathologies that the problems have. I can see it as a natural extension of our treatment arms. It's a clearly a most useful tool in the toolbox. It's a pretty slick system. Uh, it's a slightly different approach in the sense of what we're seeing and understanding that on a cadaver will differ a little bit obviously from live case but uh, the philosophy behind it looks pretty straightforward and uh, as I said I think it's a really slick system. The challenge is that the new techniques that we need, the pathology is the same, but the visualisation is a little bit different. But there's been that evolution of techniques and incisions from open without magnification to smaller incisions, microscopes, working through tubes, now we're working through endoscopes, um, all of which is to address the pathology and minimise the injury to patients. So it's, to me it's a natural extension. got to be comfortable with endoscopic work which we generally are with skull base and so we're used to using the endoscope for starters. Uh, then if you've gone, done a progression from an open discectomy and then using say a metric system and doing it through a microscope in that fashion, using instrumentation and looking at a different screen is the next progression but I, I would find it relatively straightforward to go straight into full endoscopic and I don't think the transition will be overly difficult to do because the anatomy doesn't change and it's just getting used to using your hands and knowing where you can adapt to it. So I actually think the transition will be fairly easy. Uh, going up to the level of four, five, three, four, where there's more sagittally placed joints, a little bit trickier because of the drill usage. And obviously the progression towards foraminotomies, laminectomies, and perhaps cervical surgery, it's just got to be a stepwise learning curve. That's why I would approach it for safety. Well, I can see the benefits for it, and I think the drives for reduced hospital stay associated with uh, minimising incisions is a big incentive to learn this technique.